Hello everybody, let's do some coding. As a reminder, this is a 30-day series because LeetCode hosts a 30-day April contest challenge thing. This is day number nine and problem name is MinStack. Once again, orange tick mark means I've solved this problem in the past, but to be honest, I don't remember what that is. So hopefully I'm still not remembering, then it's more interesting. Design a stack that supports push, pop, top and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. Well, can I use a vector? Uh, I didn't read the hint, just so, so if there are some more requirements, which sounds stupid. Push element into a stack, remove that element on top of the stack, get the top element, Retrieve the minimum element in the stack. Uh, well, I hope everything will compile correctly, but when you design min stack, and this is useful for problem of maximum in sliding window, there is such well-known problem on lead code. Uh, if there is, let's say, sequence is already four, six, three, then you want to remember that minimum is three, but if you remove this three, the new minimum will be four. So for every new number that comes, you need to update minimum, but also hold minimum from a moment ago. So I will not just keep those elements, I will keep elements, uh, actually I will just keep minimum. If, if I got those, but also I need to return the last element, return the top element. So if those are pushed elements in this order, 4, 6, 3, 2, I will keep 4, 4, 6 comma 4, 3 comma 3 and 2 comma 2. Every pair is an element and minimum up to this moment. Then when they ask me about top element, it's this one, the first in the last pair, and the, the minimum is the second element. So using a standard stack of pairs, I will implement this thing. Stack of pair of int int, I don't know, s min stack as clear if if anything push if s empty then just as push a pair x comma x otherwise push a pair x comma minimum of x and s dot top i think i will check later how to exactly write this in C++. I didn't use stack for quite a long time. That pop is just as dot pop. I hope pop cannot be run for empty. Well, if not as empty, let's see. Top, return as dot top first and return as dot top second. This is just a comment. Run this and also C++ reference stack. I think it's brackets. Is it clear? It's clear. I think I don't need to do this. Actually, yeah, let's say I don't need that. The structure just is almost being so clear. Ah, it's like that. Brackets are wrong. Here's a question about that. I think I'll fast forward this entity. Works for sample test. Were there any requirements here? What did the hint say? Consider each node in a stack having minimum value. Well, this hint spoils a lot, but believe me, I didn't read. I'll stop for minutes. Mm. Yeah, so that, that's the, the idea. Uh, it was a stack, like the name of problem suggests, but additionally, we need minimum. We still need all the normal things from a stack, so at least it must be a stack, but augmented in some way augmented by menu and it turns out that it's good if every element will also hold minimum up to this position. So imagine storing the sequence given and applying stack operations like here if there is pop then I pop a 2, if there is push 5 I push a 5. But additionally if next to an element I keep also minimum so far and this is for every element then no matter what happens the last pair not only knows this value, it should be returned for top, 
but also it gives us the minimum up to this position. I'm thinking if there are any harder versions I would want to talk about. If you want to also support maximum, then you need to store tuples of size 3. Those would be element, comma, maximum, comma, minimum. Nothing interesting about that. And I think that's it. Regarding the previous day, about what that was, two strings, later I saw that it is possible to solve that problem without modifying the input strings, but well, I'm, I'm not perfect and I didn't see that. And remember this 30-day thing, it's not that I prepare every day how to solve a problem. I'm running as I go. Maybe that's a stupid sentence. Uh, I'm just opening a problem, saying my thoughts out loud and showing to you what I'm doing. Uh, what all other reminder is that codes are in my GitHub repository. Link is in the description. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and face reveal at 100,000 subscribers, of course. See you. Bye bye.